Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We got one of my good loyal clients here, Shivani. She's been coming to me for the last what, four or five months. And we just finished doing a classic 50 minute facial on her. We did add in a peel and we also added in high frequency. Also gonna be chatting a lot about how to address um, cystic acne hair, but actually her skin is improve so much. I'll put a before picture here so you guys can really see the improvement that Shivani has made with her skin. Obviously we're still wanting to treat her very delicately and in, in a certain way so that we're not causing more of an issue in her skin. She's also a dry skin type so she's got kind of a combination of things going on. So we're going to talk a lot about how to treat this skin type, also what she's doing at home and what you can instruct your clients to do. So if you want to see her transform into this glowy, glowy skin, then make sure you continue watching. What's going on today? Can you tell them? A little bit of active <laughs> acne. Okay. How's it feeling? Mm, it doesn't feel too hot. Okay. It's just, I feel like it's more just like bumps. Yeah. But it does, it does, they're not painful or anything. Okay. This one definitely is feeling yeah, hot this, to the touch. This one just came up to this morning, actually. Okay. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. But yeah, everything else feels pretty mm -hmm. okay. So yeah, you guys want to kind of check to see if it's feeling warm. That means it's like really inflamed. So she has some like pustules, some nodules. Right off the bat though, when I look at her skin, I don't see huge, large pores, which can be probably one of the most difficult skin types to treat, the acneic dry skin types, because you don't want to overly dry the skin, but you still want to address the breakouts. We're definitely going to do a peel. I'm gonna try to incorporate some oxygen to the mix um, and also hydration. Also with this kind of skin type, you don't wanna do any sort of scrubs to the skin, any physical exfoliation because you don't wanna run the risk of spreading any of these um, larger cystic um, bumps. So we'll still, you know, really focus mainly on the chemical exfoliation. There really has been a drastic improvement. I've been seeing her every three to four weeks. When you get a client like this, you wanna make them a priority and you wanna set from the beginning, right? You know, when we first met, I told you from the jump, like, hey, this is gonna be an investment for the both of us. Like seeing you regularly, having good home care, which she's definitely been on top of as much as she can. So throughout the facial, you just want to be using nice light pressure, nothing um, draining because that is what we want to avoid with her skin is, is trying to spread anything.
pre-treatment. And like what I was explaining to Shivani earlier was I think a lot of people think that you need to go in with the strongest treatment right away for a, for a skin type like yours. Low percentages can still be just as effective. Okay, so I'm actually gonna look at the clock right now. And this is gonna sit on the skin for about two to three minutes. And then we're actually gonna do the second layer of this. Okay, so make sure you guys continue watching because we're gonna talk about what she's doing at home. And I think that that's super important when it comes to um, working with clients with more severe acne because home care is gonna be key. I'm gonna be removing it with some cool water and some new sponges. I always remove the new sponges because you don't want to introduce any bacteria to the skin that we just opened up with the peel. Okay, so a lot of people get really scared when it comes to extracting more cystic acne or grade three, four acne clients. These ones here, especially if they're hot to the touch, if they don't have a visible peak or opening to them, you do not want to extract these. If you go and disturb these, you run the risk of that pus spreading under the skin and actually creating more of a breakout for her. I really don't see anything in this section right here that needs to be extracted. And what's crazy, like I said, your nose has like barely anything in there. So that's why I categorize you as a dry skin type because you really don't have like excess oil in other places. It's literally just the breakouts. Mm -hmm. Even though there are these kind of bigger, scary, scarier ones, I'm not I'm still not seeing a ton of the other kind. Just a couple on your chin here. Yeah, so I'm actually I'm actually happy with how her skin's looking, other than the kind of bigger ones because she used to have a lot of whiteheads. You're not as congested as you have been in the past. Mm -hmm. Although you guys probably wanted to see some, some more action, but <laughs> that's the thing is we don't want to have the misconception of like your, your guys' skin types needing to have like a ton of extractions. Sometimes it really is a good thing that you don't have a lot to extract. So another thing about working with acneic skin types is avoiding facial massage. You really don't want to be adding more oil to the face. So it'd be okay to do like an arm and hand massage or like a little shoulder neck massage. Why don't you share with them what you were doing before? Mm -hmm. Why do you think that was not good? Before, I was using a very drying cleanser. I was using just benzoyl peroxide cleanser like every day. And I wasn't really using a gentle cleanser that, you know, targets like taking up the dirty oils or grimes, makeup throughout mm -hmm. the day. The niacinamide serum from Paula's Choice. And then the CeraVe moisturizer. And I feel like those things were were okay, but they weren't really like helping my skin like get better. It was just like making it okay. It wasn't making it worse or it wasn't making it better. It was just like 
I still had breakouts and they were just not going away. Like compared to the cleanser I'm using from Image, the, the salicylic acid and the gentle cleanser. As for serums, um, they're completely minimized to just one every day, which is the Illumina serum by Image as well. And then two to three times a week, I use the anti-aging serum and the retinol which has the glycolic acid yeah. lactic acid some more of a chemical exfoliant so you're not using any scrubs at home right mm -hmm. yeah no scrubs at home and then at the moisturizer is the vitamin c moisturizer that for night time cream? the real print cream yeah okay. and then during the day i'm using the yellow one the oxygen the yeah, the, yeah there you go okay. not o2 <laughs> prevention plus the yeah. oil free one right yeah but I've seen a big difference um, already. I feel like my skin is getting a lot better. But now I just, there, it's all simplified. I'm only, like I use a gentle cleanser every day and then um, salicylic um, cleanser is like also from three to four times a week. Um, and then when I do notice breakouts, then I'll go ahead and use the benzoyl peroxide I have, but I also don't use that as often. Mm -hmm. So I've just completely like simplified my routine, only using two to three products every day. Minimal is better, not overly drying the skin. Benzoyl peroxide, salicylic acid, vitamin C are very key for your skin. And regular facials every three to four weeks. be doing high frequency for about three to five minutes. You don't want to overdo it also because it can kind of dry out the skin a little bit. And the reason why I put the serum and that lotion is because the high frequency will also help to penetrate the serum and the benzoyl peroxide deeper into her skin. We're all done. How's your skin feeling? Feels very refreshed and yeah. relaxed. Thanks for being my model. <laughs> You're welcome.